We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. The enthusiasm for football here on the East Coast always in the air. These folks are ready as their guys get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. The football going back over to Arizona now. first down he'll buy some time right and now he's going to use his legs nice work to get seven out of that and it's second down partner he was going through his progressions not there not there after about the third one he decided he better pull it down and run for it and he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure they'll operate from the 32 yard line here second and three Shotgun now for Murray. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, Murray. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. To throw again, Murray. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. Chase Young just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. Out of the gun. Here's Murray. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Three yards the gain there, second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. This a second and seven from the 37. Operating from the gun. Murray and his throw is going to be incomplete. The intended receiver there, Kenyon Drake. And that takes us from second to third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Murray to air it out again. He may try and run for this. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. A gain of three, second down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun, Murray out to his left. He'll try and run it. 
And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards at a first. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Max Williams. Max Williams there to make the grab. And the Cardinals take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Now Mike Nugent for the extra point. And the Cardinals will go up 7 to nothing. Makes the score Cardinals 7, Washington nothing. After the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. Danny Johnson returning. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. At their own 24-yard line. Run here for J.D. McKissick. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. The ball carrier. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. To throw on second and six, Smith. And this one is incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Throwing on third down, Smith. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Deep for the Cardinals, Christian Kirk. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. And some room to work. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? 
But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. The pro bowler, DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Back to the air on second down. It's Murray. That's going to be caught by Kirk. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 9-yard line. 15-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. It's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. This is caught. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So give him the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So the face mask moves him closer. And now first and goal. They'll try and pound it in with Drake. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Arizona. Kenyon Drake taking it in. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. There's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. After the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. And he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. They'll run with McKissick. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. A shotgun snap for Smith. 
That'll be caught. It's Steven Sims. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. A good pick up there. 18 yards as they get closer for third down. Third down. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Now Smith. That's complete to his tight end, Sprinkle. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. A carry now for McKissick. And takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. Over the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First, you can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Marcus Golden, too much to handle that time, gets the sack. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. On third down, Smith. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 35. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, here's Smith. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 14, Washington, nothing. They'll run on first down. Gibson. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Tackle made by no gain on the play. It'll be second down. No gain on the play. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now left side on the swing pass. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Here's McKissick. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. 
Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing, and I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Throwing on second and eight, Smith. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got it. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin there to make the grab. And Washington has made this a one-score game. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. So extra point good by Hopkins. And that'll make our score 14-7. to seven. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. On the return, here's Edmonds. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Looking to throw on second down. Murray, the catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. On first and 10, here's Murray. Caught left side, Hopkins. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first down, Drake. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Well, you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. Second down, it's Drake. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Murray going to run play action with Drake and look to throw it. Open man is Kirk, complete. Three yards the game there, second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, 
You see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 17-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They run toss to the right with Drake. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense. A little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them. But they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Operating from the gun. Murray, they'll roll him out right. He'll run it. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. From the gun, Murray. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? now after the field goal as he'll send it away that'll be taken about a yard deep and they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line so the same result and he opted for the touchback now we get another look at Washington on offense and that last drive so effective in the passing game resulting in the touchdown Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter, get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone otherwise you bring him into the play and that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass and now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27 they do get a couple but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up and that's a good job there by the corner we do talk about this a lot that a lot of corners see their job is simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. On oh, the return is Kirk. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. 
Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal added onto their lead, but that was a drive that was so long it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game, but we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive. And he's going to profess that he was happy to get points. But and we know it? that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Two yards. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 40 now on second down, Murray, he's going to take off with it. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. And he's got Fitzgerald. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. So another snag for Fitzgerald, who in 2015 became the youngest player at age 32 to hit 1,000 receptions. He's piling up some more. Well, the way he's playing today, it's almost like he's trying to get a second thousand just in one contest. And when they're operating this well and clicking like that. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Another try after the first down sack. Murray. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Montez Sweat in there to drop him at sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. from the gun. Murray caught left side, Williams. And they'll get this across midfield, but not nearly close to a first down as he stopped at the 48. On fourth down, here's Andy Lee on to kick it away. Steven Sims set to return it for Washington. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Washington offense set to take over. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Eight yards. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Smith trying to get him to the line quickly with the clock rolling. Throwing again on second down. Smith toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Out of the gun, Smith. Open man is Sims. He's got it. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. A 
first and ten here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Throwing again, Smith. The throw taken in by Sims. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Throwing again is Smith. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. And a sideline pass that's caught by Thomas. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. To the air again, Smith. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Again, Smith. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Logan Thomas in the final seconds of the first half. And Washington able to make this a close game again. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. On the return, here's Edmonds. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The football going back over to Arizona now. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. 
All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, now here's Johnson. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On first down, it's Smith. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Now yeah, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? On first down, it's Gibson. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. From the 35 on second down, Smith. That one is slant to McLaurin. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 22-yard line. 13 yards there at a Washington first. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. They run the counter. Gibson, and he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. The speed of Jordan Hicks on display there as he gets the tackle for loss. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Eight yards on the run, and that cuts us down to a third and about five. You've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, Smith. Open man here, Sims complete. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, his second touchdown of the night. And Washington has taken the lead. I know we often
even laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Hopkins with the extra point and that will make this a four point game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. gun here's Murray over the middle complete that's Fitzgerald Murray's pass. it'll be a pickup of 10 yards and that'll make it second and a foot or so they like going to him in the slot he catches another one I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him why not go back to him he has something going really well great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball and they keep making the connection looking to throw again on second down Murray and he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Back-to-back -to -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. First down, Murray. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. They fake the handoff, now Murray. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. It's 18. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. That's going to be caught by Kirk. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Complete. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Second and two, first down marker at the eight. Now Murray again. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. 
Murray a give. This is Drake. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here and maybe want to go pick it up. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. The quick slant caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll try to run with Edmonds. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Definitely not how you want to start things on first down, and you don't want to panic. A field goal could get you closer, but you have to think to yourself, we even get another shot. At this point, to me, the thinking has to be touchdown or bust. Second down and goal. Murray. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Arizona. Max Williams. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Cardinals have retaken the lead. Mike Nugent. Extra point coming now for Nugent. And that one gives him a three-point lead. Kick is good. Makes the score Cardinals 24, Washington 21. After the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. Johnson now returning. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Washington offense back out there. They had gotten the lead with the opening drive touchdown of the third quarter. Now they relinquish that lead back. Could be in for an interesting second half. It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Almost turning into one of those pendulum games, right? Where it swings back and forth. And who's going to make the play that changes that? That maybe it puts it on one side and keeps it there. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. They will run it. It's McKissick. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Heavy set out there on third and one. Going to give this time to the tailback. That he will have a first down here at about the 40. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. A shotgun snap for Smith. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Seven yards to pick up there. Complete to Terry McLaurin. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at their 48-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Barber. 
And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals 44. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. They'll run on first down. It's Gibson. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 39, Smith looking middle, and it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Washington on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and four. From the gun, here's Smith. And he'll go underneath with this one to McKissick. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Smith on first down. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Steven Sims, 31 yards. And Washington has once again taken the lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They manage to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Extra point good by Hopkins, and that will make this a four-point game. Turn, here's Edmonds. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 26. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Murray now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. From the gun, Murray. 
Rolling to his left. Now he'll pull it down. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. On first and ten, here's Murray. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Back-to-back -to -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. On first and goal, Drake. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. They'll try again with Drake. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for him. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let him know right away I'm throwing it. I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. If it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A gain of five, but not enough, leads to a fourth and goal. Well, they certainly didn't get what they wanted on that play. That means it's a big-time decision on what you call on fourth down. Absolutely, because a field goal here doesn't do him much good. Murray sets to throw on fourth, sliding up, and he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run, and the Cardinals have taken the lead here in the fourth. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Makes the score, Cardinals 31, Washington 28. After the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. Here comes Johnson on the return. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Washington offense heading out. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Alabama man, Drake Kirkpatrick. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Well, Brandon, this is a former first-round pick, and he's been a bit of a disappointment in his career up till now, but he's still got room to grow. And this is an excellent play right here to come away with the football. 
It was Jonathan Bostick there on the stop. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The tight end, Max Williams, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. The Cardinals on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and six. Shotgun now for Murray. He can run for it, and he will. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play. Wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped. Good coverage downfield. And he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does. And, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically. But it hurts more when they get it this way, because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Drake. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Operating from the gun, Murray. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And he's into the clear. And he gets it back into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery leading to a Washington touchdown. Touchdown. Washington. So a big turn of events there. This defense makes the play. They return it for the score, and now they have the lead. So much for ball security for the offense. Playing with a lead in the second half. They give the ball up, and all of a sudden they're behind. Big time fumble. And that will make this a four-point game. Good. Makes this Washington 35. Cardinals 31. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. On the return, here's Edmonds. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And this series could very well determine our outcome. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the gun, Murray. Open man is Kirk, complete. 
And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Great first down screen pass, good for five. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Murray to air it out again. Man open left side, it's Williams. It's a gain of five, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. The battle in the trenches is never more important than right now. This is third and inches. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short definitely was a great time to dial one up. Throwing on first down is Murray. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. All right, partner, I'm a defender. But I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Well, plays like that, Charles, no doubt. They're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well, but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about, and that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. To throw again on second down. Murray steps up, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The DN Jonathan Allen making sure his presence is felt. Third and long. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done. But now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready. And you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Nugent hits the extra point. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. After the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. Returning it, Johnson. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now Washington.
Washington down on the scoreboard. A minute 24 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. Smith now to throw. And that'll be incomplete. The Alabama man, Drake Kirkpatrick, there on the coverage. This defense hasn't had the best showing in this game, but a critical knockdown there. If they can hang on, I guess the end will kind of justify the mean. Certainly, and just think of it this way. It may not be the quantity of the plays that they've had because those haven't been great, but they get a few more quality ones like that. That could finish things off for them. Throwing on third down, Smith. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Smith. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you got to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that'll take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. The football going back over to Arizona now. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. An extra man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. Down to Anigos Murray as that will just about wrap this thing up. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Tonight's so it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one we're thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Washington, thanks for watching, and good night, everybody.